Hey everybody, it's Nick here, and I just wanted to check in with you and give you a bit of a financial update on the Pathways Church community, and uh, those of you who were there at the annual meeting about a month and a half ago, somewhere in there, uh, we, our treasurer, Carl Hartquist, presented financial information, but I know many of you uh, were not uh, there in, pres uh, in person, weren't able to make it, and some of you were online-only people anyway, and so there was no way for you to be there in person, and so... Uh, I promised that I would just give a little financial update uh, for those of you who are online or couldn't make it uh, in person the day that we had the annual meeting. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of just give you the bullet points, distill down the information in a very quick video here. And then if you have any further questions, please reach out to us. Uh, you can message us on Facebook or uh, you can email me and Lloyd at findpathways.com and we would be happy to give you any more information that you might want about the financial picture of the Pathways Church, which is, of course, uh, deeply integrated into this whole gathering project. So let's get right to it here. Let me give you some quick uh, information so you know where we are at. Uh, first of all, here on the Pathways Church um, is partnered with Zion, of course, uh, for the thing that we call the gathering. And let me just explain to you uh, where all the budget and expenses for Pathways Church goes. Zion is responsible for some things on their, themselves, uh, but this is where the breakdown. Uh, it, this is the breakdown of where the Pathways financial uh, expenditures go. Number one, we have staff compensation, and that is by far the largest part of our budget. Uh, we have one full-time person, <laughs> that's me, uh, and then we also have several people who are either part-time or stipend paid. We have a worship leader who's very part-time paid, and then we have three people on stipends. They get paid a very small stipend per month, uh, one who runs our kids' ministry, one who runs our youth ministry, and one who uh, does all the financial bookkeeping, and those are very small stipends, uh, but those three stipend people, one very part-time person and one full-time person, and that is where most of our budget ends up is in that staff compensation area. I think it's something like over 80% of our funds go there. Uh, the second thing is ministry supplies. These are things like uh, curriculum for kids' ministry, supplies for kids' ministry, and student ministry. Uh, these are things like food, if we are having an event or whatever supplies we need for games and events and all that type of stuff. It's education things uh, for sermon series that we're doing. Just basic ministry supplies, things that we need on Sunday mornings. It could be um, donuts, that type of thing, whatever it is that we've got going on on Sunday morning, bulletins, <laughs> uh, any signage that we do, ministry supplies that way. Uh, the third thing is building rental. Uh, Zion owns the building. Uh, they own it outright. It was paid off, I think, years ago. Uh, we actually, Pathways, in partnering with them, we contribute a $1,500 uh, rental uh, fee each month to them as part of the building usage, our contribution. Uh, the fourth thing is licensing. There's all sorts of licensing uh, that is needed for online streaming and in-person gathering, whether it's video or music. Uh, and there are licensing fees associated with that and subscription fees in order to uh, broadcast things. And so that's what is tied up in licensing fees. There are, of course, fees uh, primarily due to insurance fees, some credit card processing fees for how we accept donations, and that's all tied in there. So those are the five main groupings of where the money goes in Pathways Church. And if you want a, uh, a more full breakdown on that, of course, you could contact us and we'd be happy to provide that. But the total is somewhere around $12,281 a month are our expenses if you average it out. Now, as I said, the Zion Lutheran Church is currently responsible for the financial upkeep of the property. Even though it's paid off, there's all sorts of expenditures uh, in capital things that need to be fixed and in making sure that the building is maintained and all that, and you can contact them for those details. Now, as a current status of kind of where the, the financial uh, picture is for the Pathways Church, our average monthly giving over the last several years has sort of averaged around $9,600 a month. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's actually even less. But our average monthly expenses, as I just said, are about $12,281, which means that we are, have a shortfall of over $2,500 per month. And that has roughly been happening for a few years now. A uh, little graph here shows you where we've been in our general fund, which is where uh, most of our 
uh, activity happens. You can see that back in January 2021, kind of the early parts of COVID, you can see our general fund actually started growing all through um, most of that COVID era, reaching its peak somewhere around the end of 2021. Uh, we were online for almost all of this time. We were, on, we were online for 15 or 16 months. Uh, so that is a long time. Now you can see as we started meeting together in person, uh, you can see back at the beginning of 2022 that we've started to then be missing our budget each month and you can see the general fund going down over time and it continues to do that as well. Uh, there is, uh, you'll see a couple little peaks where things bump up and there's one large gift that's been happening at the end of the year each year, which kind of bumps us back up. But the overall trend is that we've been missing our budget. And that's due in part to, uh, we lost a lot of people during the COVID times when we were kind of shut down and we were uh, you know, doing all the church online and everything like that. And we haven't been able to build up that financial base again since that time. Now, how can we fill in this gap? I mean, we could probably lose that money for another year or two if we wanted to do that until we just ran out of funds. But it would probably be better for the health of the church if we were able to somehow uh, write that action. And so how can we meet the need? Well, we've determined that there's about 25 to 30 new family groups who have joined uh, our community over the last year or so. And so just an example of how we could fill in this gap would be if you had 22 units who started giving uh, currently, uh, an example of how to get there is if you had one per, one family unit giving a thousand dollars a month, one doing seven fifty a month, one doing or two doing five hundred a month, six doing two fifty a month, five doing a hundred a month, and seven doing fifty a month. Now that's just an example, right? I mean, obviously things are never going to work out as clean as some financial person's example here on the screen. But the general idea here is if uh, those of us, we definitely have enough people in this community that if we, uh, some of us who are giving gave a little more and some of us who haven't been giving at all gave a little bit, uh, we could get there and easily fill in this gap. So this might be a good screen for you to take a look and say, huh, where in this picture could I fit? And anywhere that you could fit in that picture uh, would help us close the gap on our financial needs. Now, we also have something we're calling a stretch goal. And I know that uh, sounds crazy. We're not meeting budget currently. Uh, but the truth is, we have a lot of growth that's happening in our community. And there's a lot of things that need to be developed and organized because we have been growing so much. It's great. There's a lot of people who have kind of given up on church and decided, oh, I don't want to do church anymore, uh, but have found a home here with us if maybe church could be a little different and kind of look something like this. And so it's been fantastic, the growth that we've experienced, but it's also created a lot of extra work and we just don't have enough people to pull it all off. And so we really need to add a part-time position. Now, the person we really need to add on is uh, Christina, who has uh, been functioning in this pastoral role and administrative stuff really for the last couple years, but not being paid for it. She's been doing it as a volunteer for a long time. Uh, but she's at a place in her life where she may not be able to continue to do that. And also, we need to ask her to do more because there's just so much that needs to be done. And so we'd like to add her in, but that would then cost us uh, a little bit more per month, of course. And so that would make our monthly shortfall more like over $5,000 a month. Now, you should know that we're looking at some outside funds to help uh, maybe uh, fund this particular endeavor. Uh, maybe even $1,000 or more of that could be secured through outside funds. But that would, of course, mean that our stretch goal would take us even beyond uh, where we were talking about before. So I'd like to just throw this screen back up at you again. I mean, I feel like our main goal here is to make sure that we're closing the gap on our expenditures right away. Uh, so if you look in this screen here and can see a way that you could give in one of these levels, that would hugely help uh, the Pathways Church community. And uh, if you haven't been giving before and you can give a little bit now, uh, that would be fantastic. As some of you just aren't in a financial position to give, and that's okay. We don't want to guilt anybody into giving something that they can't afford to give. Uh, but some of us have the ability to give or to give more, and this would be a really worthy cause, I think, uh, if you would like to support it. Uh, now, I just want to say thank you to those of you who are giving, and thank you to those of you who have taken time to uh, just watch through this video. Uh, easy way to start giving, if you'd like to do that, after you have some time to think about it, is just go to the website at everettgathering.com slash donate. And you can set up a one-time gift or you can set up a recurring gift. And I would highly encourage you, if you can do it, to set up a recurring gift because that really helps us know uh, what our budget is per, per month. If we can see like, oh, we know we can kind of count on this. It helps us make 
some budgeting decisions as we go forward. Another thing you should know is as you set up a chance to give there, uh, you can either donate through your card, you know, like your debit card or whatever else, uh, or you can set up using ACH transfer. And if you are interested in saving the church fees, ACH transfer is by far the best uh, way to go. We get charged and assessed a 3% fee on any credit card that gets processed through the system. But on an ACH transfer, we get charged something like 30 cents per transaction. So it doesn't matter if you give $50 or $5,000, it's only going to cost us 30 cents. So I would highly encourage you to use the ACH transfer if you want to save us uh, in fees. And what that does is it just means that uh, more, almost 100% of your donation then goes to the church rather than going to some sort of processing fees. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for taking the moment to listen to this. Again, if you have more questions, reach out to us on Facebook. Email me, n-l-o-y-d at findpathways.com, and we would be happy to get you more information. Okay, have a good one. Bye.